Hello everyone, I'm Tiny Pirate. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Big Pharma, episode 4 today. Last week, a few of you noticed that I had made a bit of a mistake. Yes, I had forgotten to connect up this pill machine. And the end result of that was, we were never producing this drug at any kind of speed. It, it's a real tragedy. We were still making good money, but we could have been making more money because as you can see now, the belts are all filled, which is basically what you want to happen, right? We also were really struggling with this erectile dysfunction drug, but I had some really great advice in the comments from Skywalker, sorry, Skywalter and Rusty Walker. Easy to mix those two up. So those two guys uh, suggested that I not mix this ingredient, uh, the Veritas juice, and instead I mix the fish particles. And I'll show you why that matters and, and how this mix is actually working uh, in a second. First of all, we're going to need a, a bunch more room. So let's just pause the video for a second and buy ourselves a good pile of space. And then let us bring in these two ingredients. So let's bring in the fish particles first, jellyfish particles. And then of course the, uh, this one here, the juice. And have a look at what these uh, ingredients are. I'll get them in and what you can see is these ingredients have several effects they have four slots for effects in the first slot in this one we have induced nightmares we have a cure effect here so that's a uh, not a nice effect and then we have two empty slots over here we have uh, four slots th uh, three of which are filled third one is empty and so this is how when you mix them together you're actually combining the slots and in one case uh, one of them becomes the master and the other uh, and the other gets deleted the other slots are overwritten so if this was the master these two effect slots here would overwrite um, anything in here so in, in these first two slots here which could be a, a problem because we'd lose a catalyst so let's mess around with uh, things now and and you'll see what happens when we uh, get this working so if we put down our effects uh, shaker machine like that you will see as the ingredients come in you'll see them getting mixed up so as you can see it'll drop them all one and so now we have a spare slot at the top and a spare slot at the bottom for these effects grab the mixer come here and uh, pop it there and we'll see what happens now come on ingredients get moving get moving and bingo as you can see the uh, crystals are the base and they overwrite the middle two slots on uh, on the juice and the end effect is we have finally got what we want now we need to go through these steps so we need to get this up to strength 13 to enable us to turn it into a few more contraceptive so let's grab an algolometer a goal what are these things called algolomerator i should be able to remember that Glomerator. I've got plenty of them. You, you're a spare. Come out. And uh, let's stick you. Yeah, pop you there. And we'll need an ionizer as well. Plenty of those lying around. Great. Now we just need to drop it with an ionizer. Back to back works. Now what we need to do is get it up to strength 17 so we can turn it into an erectile dysfunction curing drug. Uh, here we go. Have it go that way. Watch it go in. And up to 13. So it's now it needs to go up a couple more. It needs to go up one evaporator worth, which we have. And then it needs to go up a uh, one agglomerator worth. So spare agglomerator. <laughs> I accidentally sold it. Never mind, plenty more of those came from. Cooking up the drug. 14. Seventeen. So now with another agglomerator, it will upgrade to the correct drug we want. It's 
It's not going to be the prettiest production floor, but never mind. Here come the drugs. And bingo, we can now enjoy a drug that alleviates erectile dysfunction. And here we have some interesting options because if we get researching the uh, autoclave, oh, we've got an autoclave, what am I doing? Let's get onto the cryogenic one. If we drop in an autoclave, we can have the uh, strength of the drug. So I'll show you why that could be helpful. So the drug's currently strength 20. If we have the strength of it, we will have a strength 10 drug and it'll be in the vicinity of, uh, of an awesome erectile dysfunction curing thing. So let's drop right there. And let's see how it works now. And whammo. Straight down to erectile dysfunction cure. Excellent. One of the challenges we have is that we can get rid of, uh, of this negative effect here, the side effect, vomiting, if we again run this drug through another autoclave. But the problem is the autoclave costs quite a bit of money to run. As you can see, it costs $45 to run. And then it would go from strength 10 to 5, and we'd have to put it up again twice uh, to keep it, uh, keep it a good drug. Are our customers worth it? Are they worth it? I hear you say. Well, why not? We haven't reduced a, we haven't removed an effect before, so let's give that a go. See what it's like to reduce an effect. So we should see the effect vanish now when we run it through the autoclave. And pop. No. Ha. Huh. That's kind of a shame. That is a real shame. Okay, it needs to be... Oh, ridiculous. It needs to be a lot stronger before it can be reduced. That's why. That effect reduction thing, it tells you it needs to be strength 13. So we can do that. Why not? We've, cut, we've started down this path. We have started the journey. Let us not give up now. Agglomerator. See, I told you I could learn in the end. A autoclave. So it's gone through an agglomerator. It's within the realm of being removed. And then the autoclave destroys it. And now we have to put it back up with another agglomerator. Let's see if we can get one in nice and easy. Oh, there we go. And then I think that will do the job and we can go to a pill printer. And, and out the door. Let's have a look now. What have we got here? Look at that. A wonderful erectile dysfunction drug. Speed things up a bit. And done. What are we going to call it? Erection Ignite. No, let's not call it that. This is a family friendly channel and people might get upset. Blitzkrieglers forever up Blitzkrieg is a good YouTube buddy of mine got a great channel check him out forever up that's how I feel when I when I talk to him let's not let's not explain that eh? anyway uh, what are we looking at hmm not exactly a super profitable drug I have found actually in, in a, another run of the game where I had a few errors I was testing things out that if I leave off this extra autoclave step and this removing side effects step, profit for this drug hovers around about $330, which is awesome. It gives a horrible side effect of vomiting, so people are uh, enjoying marital bliss while puking everywhere, which isn't perhaps ideal. Don't know. Might be ideal for a certain market, but not the market represented within, uh, within Big Pharma. And you end up with a really fairly poor cure rating. So it's a bit of a shame. This isn't going to be as profitable as we'd like. But it is still profitable. And we are doing a service for mankind. Literally mankind. Maybe womankind too. And any other kind that wishes it. And see, oh, it's getting better. And we've completed the scenario. We've completed the scenario at expert level. Believe it or not. Pirate and fade drugs for you counts. 
as an expert level company. We've certainly smashed cooperative care. I'm happy with that. We can keep running for a little bit. It's interesting to see the side effects, uh, sorry, the, the, the cure rating increase over time. Currently getting more and more valuable, which as you can see is pushing the profit up, which is great. Still not really enough. We have a whole bunch of research points to spend. Let's spend them on uh, agglomerators, ionizers, pill printers. What else should we spend them on? Those autoclaves were really expensive. Now let's see how we're looking. Bit better off again. So with that, I think it's probably time to change to another mission. We have completed the basics. I think I now somewhat understand the game. I've certainly figured out this thanks to the help of uh, Sky Walter and, uh, and uh, a good buddy uh, there, Rusty Walker, have been commenting on the previous videos. So let's uh, end the scenario and see what we could do next. So for the rest of this uh, Let's Play, I'd like to start looking at uh, something in the advanced area because this is an interesting set of challenges in here. This is supposed to be the standard stuff. So we completed one challenge in about an hour of gameplay, especially with my fiddling around off offline. And so I want to have a look at a, a different one here. So here we got a supply one product with a combined value per sale above $1,500. That sounds pretty cool. A bunch of anesthetics, not really interesting. Six products treating different cures with a B rating. That sounds kind of fun. We could explore a lot of interesting cures that way. Yeah, let's try that. Awesome. Part and fade drugs for you. Choose our good old buddy Chan and incorporate this. Lots of different drugs starting off nice and small. Have a quick look at the options here. Talk about what we're going to do in the next episode and then send things on its way. So we've got an acid reflex drug. Wow, really simple one. And an evaporator to send into the vicinity of a stomach ulcer securing drug. That sounds great. A, uh, a hypertension drug that could cause constipation. Not ideal. But that's uh, also quite a simple one. Needs an ionizer, so we definitely want to start with this one. Ionizers take research. And a lot of potential places to research. Deep sea below fish. Wow, that sounds really cool. Looking in the research tree, you'll notice it's quite a bit different from the last time we played because we have everything in here. We can uh, exploit the, the legislature to improve our cure bonus, get them to buy all our drugs and tell everyone how great they are. We've got a Hadron Collider. How awesome is that? A Hadron Collider? I don't know what on earth we're going to do with it. But I know that we also have one in my uh, City Skylines Let's Play and North Korea is currently using it to educate all the people of Pyongyang by colliding hadrons. No one in Pyongyang knows what a, a hadron is, but it doesn't stop them from colliding it anyway. And we have some other neat stuff in here too. So what cures do we have? Yeah, a lot of interesting cures to work through. The companies, what's awesome about this level is we'll have four different companies to compete against. Well, sorry, three companies in ourselves. I will be competing against myself not to be an idiot. So I guess there are four companies. I will leave it here now, gentlemen and gentlewomen. We will come back in the next episode and start building six awesome cures to take over the pharmaceuticals world. And of course, hopefully exploit the legislature while we do it and anyone else who gets in our way. I hope I'll catch you in the next episode of Big Pharma with a pirate and fade drugs for you pharmaceuticals company.